Hi, I'm Kirk Acevedo. I play Joe Toy in Band of Brothers. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, parents. Congratulations, cadets, on graduating. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about Band of Brothers, my experience. We were given pretty much dossiers on each of the characters that we were playing for all the actors. Since Joe to Toy passed away in 1996, I never got a chance to meet him or talk to him. So I spoke to family members and read his dossier and watched videos of Joe Toy. We then went to boot camp for three weeks and in, in uh, England, and it was a British Royal Marine base. So we were training and uh, alongside of uh, uh, active military in the British Royal Marines. And um, we'd have to pull apart our M1, put it back together, you know, run four or five miles a day, push-ups. Uh, but they were, the boot camp, how it was done in the 40s. So it was a little bit easier than it was, you know, than it is now. And, um, but no jumping out of airplanes, thank God. So I'll tell you one little story about Joe Toy. Joe Toy had four purple hearts. Uh, one of the stories in Bastogne, and it was something that wasn't in Band of Brothers. I tried to get in, get it into Band of Brothers, but it just was too long. It would have been, it would have needed an entire episode uh, unto itself just to put that story in. But basically, this is what the gist of it. Joe Toy and Easy Company, they were uh, the Battle of Bastogne. And it was below zero, 20 below zero. They were caught in the forest. And the, the, the Germans had them surrounded. And they would fire these uh, uh, cannons into the trees that would explode in the trees and cause shrapnel to hit the guys when they're inside their foxholes. So we needed to know how many uh, of the, 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 the en en enemy had uh, their weapons and their ammunition and their backup and et cetera and all that. So one day they wake up and Joe Toy is missing. Everyone's like, where did Joe Toy go? He goes, and you know, the rumors go about, he went AWOL. Well, at this point, Joe, Joe had three purple hearts, so he's not going AWOL. He was the toughest of the tough. And so at one day later, Joe Toy comes back and he has a live German prisoner, a live German prisoner that he took from the front line, dragged him back so he could, that, so he could be interrogated with his information. And that is one of the reasons why uh, Bastogne was uh, such a great victory for uh, Easy Company in the United States during World War II. So just goes to show you uh, uh, tough times don't last, tough people do. And uh, they were tough men back then and women back then. So uh, that's my story. Congratulations, guys, on, uh, on graduating. And uh, all the best and God bless.